Before we jump into today's video, I just want to say a big thank you to our sponsor, BetUS. Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. Get ready for tonight's game on Thursday Night Football. We have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers going up against the Atlanta Falcons. Take a look at what I'm putting in there. I'm taking that Bucks money line. They're going on the road, but I like that matchup for them. I'm taking that money line and the under Thursday Night Football. Both teams playing pretty banged up. $100 down on that pays $291. Go over there, get yourself some money, and in order for you to get a little bit of extra money, special promotion going on right now, use promo code YouTube150 for 150% deposit match on your first deposit, and then 125% on your next two. Go ahead over there and hit those big wins. Today, we are going to be talking about the Baltimore Ravens pass offense, taking a look at what has changed, especially in the context of the last two weeks in this dominant run game. If you guys are looking forward to this breakdown, if you like what you're seeing from Todd Munkin, Lamar Jackson, and the Baltimore Ravens offense, hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And so we got a little little numbers here. We're getting, we're getting into the stats here a little bit. So this is something that if you follow this channel for a bit, I've talked about this a lot. It's all about getting Lamar Jackson under center, trying to unlock that aspect of the game. And we're seeing something that we never saw um, you know, in the last six years with Lamar Jackson, even last year with Todd Munkin here as the offensive coordinator. And that's him lining up under center, using that zone game with Derrick Henry. We saw him do it in Tennessee when Ryan Tannehill was playing some really good football. Now we have a quarterback like Lamar Jackson executing it. It just raises your ceiling way higher because of the type of quarterback Lamar is compared to Ryan Tannehill. So this is from uh, after week three, Gordon McGinnis at PFF tweeted it out, lined up under center 23 times. That's a new career high. Um, three were kneeled down, so 20 times on actual plays. Only three of those were passing plays, but all three used play action. So that's what we're going to be focusing on early in this video. He went two for two for uh, two first downs on 42 yards. This was his pass chart. So, I mean, it's funny. He was top five in the league through two weeks in pass yards, but the Ravens were 0-2. Now he's only throwing for 182 yards against the Cowboys here, and he's, but, you know, they're winning, they're dominating, and, you know, this is just, the in essence of what this video is going to focus on is using the play-action game and just taking what the defense gives you, and that's what Lamar Jackson's doing so well over the last two weeks. Then you get into week four, lined up under center 19 times, so that goes from 20 actual snaps to 19. All five pass attempts used play action. Lamar went three for five for 41 yards and a touchdown. And one of the incompletions was the wide open Mark Andrews drop and pass chart right there. I believe the Mark Andrews drop is that one right there. Um, so again, a lot of behind the, uh, behind the line of scrimmage using the screen game. But you can see right here hitting those deep shots, making passes when he needs to. So let's get into what this play action game looks like. So again, we're going to be focusing on that under center play action uh offense and so the big thing to focus on here we're out here in 22 personnel we got a i formation i mean I, when's the last time we saw an i formation in baltimore um even with pat ricard they just never used the eye out of under center before that was always out of pistol out of shotgun that sort of thing and the what we really need to focus on here is how the cowboys are matching They've stacked that box, right? They're focusing on the run, and you're going to see it. The 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 toss action is going to go that way. Linebackers are going to flow. Again, this is the effect that Derrick Henry can have on this team because they can't let him get in open space. And then all the Ravens are going to do is leak out their backside tight end from the play action, and that just creates easy pitches and catches. So this is just easy offense, and this is what the Ravens are doing so well, pairing that pass game with the run game we're back in i formation they got justice hill in the backfield on this one and we're going to once again little toss action and so it's almost the exact same place so you're going to see kolar here he he chipped and now he's leaking but you got those crossing routes coming over so they're just using a levels concept traditional west coast offense um, and rashad bateman's going to get hit for an easy completion there um, goes for a first down so that is just easy offense <laughs> i mean you, you can't make it much easier than that we're back under center here, but in the uh, we're in a single back. We're going to once again use that play action, and it's going to come out into the screen. So now we can pair that screen game, something that the Ravens are actually doing well with a more athletic O-line. You get Stanley out here. You get McCarry out here um, as your left guard, and then Zay's going to make guys miss. But the focus here is, again, look at the linebacker's flow. So we're going to play action there. 
all three, well, I think that's a safety, but all three second level defenders on that side of the field are going to cheat up to this side because of what Derrick Henry is doing to you in the run game. That creates this backside catch. Now, we could have had better blocking on this. You see Ronnie Whiff, Patrick McCary blocks nobody. Um, so not well executed by the O-line there, but this still goes for 10 yards because Zay Flowers can miss, make guys miss. And that is what they did in this game. They just focused on getting those linebackers moving. Now, once again, here we're going to go and unblock on the, on the or we're going to leave the uh, front side defender unblocked on this play action concept and just roll it out. Just easy offense, but big mix up here. You see they stack up the middle, and what you need to focus on here is they're going to motion Ricard this way. You see, again, we're getting those linebackers flowing. So now if you split this in half, you got three second-level defenders, even though it's a safety coming up, second-level defenders, and you got one linebacker left here, and the Ravens are just going to roll. And they got two check down options. And so that's to try and pull some eyes this way. But it just gets Derrick Henry out in the flat in for an easy touchdown. Again, it's easy offense. You know, not a whole lot here. But that motion from Pat Ricard. And they're doing that because this is where you could just easily hand it off here. You got Pat Ricard lead blocking. You know, you got a, a tight end here. You got a receiver. So they want to be able to stack that up. But Todd Munkin just perfectly marrying the run in the pass game in order to do this. We're back in I formation. We got a tight end in there. Lamar's going to call an audible at the line, probably a protection call, play action. And he's just going to air it out here to Isaiah Likely. So again, where are the linebackers going? We're in heavy again. We got an eight-man, no, a nine-man box. So they only got two defenders out. And that's exactly why this play works so well. Blocked up really well. And you're going to see likely just leak over top of that linebacker because when you are getting them in their heavy personnel and they played base more than most teams are going to play the Ravens in base, you're going to get those athletic tight ends matched up against these guys. But the difference is, and why I want to put these pass plays in here where we're out of shotgun in pass situations is because the difference in the past and in the present in big games, key moments is the Ravens still need to be able to against top teams get into a drop back offense, traditional five man protections, five guys out in patterns, not using the play action, and they're going to have to move the ball. And that's what I think has been so impressive about Lamar Jackson's game. There's gonna be a lot of focus on short passes behind the line of scrimmage. I don't really give a crap about all that because that's just playing good offense. He's taking what the defense gives him. He's hitting check downs because they're wide open. Why wouldn't you? They're using the play action game because it's opening guys up and you're absolutely thrashing teams on the ground. There's no reason for you to go away from something that's easier for your offense. But in these key moments, Lamar, when he's in, you know, second and 10, third and long, has had to drop back and he's been very damn good. And we're going to see it here in the last two games. So again, Lamar is going to find his check down. So, I, I mean, you can call him a check down merchant all you want. I've seen that as the new thing online, which is hilarious. Um, but what you're going to see is good five-man protection. Lamar hangs in the pocket. He's not abandoning for the run, and he's just waiting for that check down to come. They have a loaded, uh, a loaded route tree over on the right side. The Cowboys covered it up well. He hits Justice Hill, goes for a first down. Easy offense. Now we're in that five-man protect look. This was in the two-minute drill at the end of the first half against the Cowboys, and this is where Rashad Bateman's just going to rip this out, and Lamar just finds him for the easy completion. Watch this route from Lamar or from Rashad Bateman. He's going to come up. He's going to press that safety and just whip it back. Get it? He goes, gets into that second level. Boom. Makes that safety turn around, do a little dance. Um, again, just easy offense, but focusing on key moments. This was... You know, during the heartache or heart, heartache, heart attack that almost turned into heartache. Um, this was on third down. The Ravens need to first. I think there was like 236 left. And this is where the Ravens are going to put the bunch formation out there. They're going to motion Rashad, Rashad Bateman out into a trips alignment. They're going to snap. I believe they get good protection on this. Not horrible. And Zay gets out there, but a perfectly thrown ball. And Zay's just running a quick out here. He's just running this to the sticks, getting out past the sticks, which is the most important thing. And, you know, this is these are the types of throws Lamar has to make. Those outside throws where, you know, they can't double up Zay on this. They're just going to ask their best receiver to go out and make a play against on, on third down. 
and that's what the Ravens do here. This is what basically clinched them the win. Obviously, the Lamar ran for that first down, but this is just a perfectly thrown ball. Lamar's going to see it. He's going to see he's got that one-on-one. He's going to put it up there, and Zay comes down with it. So, I mean, can't ask for much more than that. Moving on here. Again, we're back in shotgun. And Lamar is going to throw a dart. This was on third and 11, and I believe Aguilar got 12 on this. And look how he squeezes this in between two defenders. So, unfortunately, the the camera... Here, let me move that over here for a second. So, you're going to see linebacker here, safety here. So, let me just draw that a circle so you can see it a little bit bigger. Lamar's got to throw it in that alley, and he throws it perfectly in between the two. Aguilar makes a big catch. So, again, third and long your play action is not going to do much for you you can't call a screen at least you don't call a screen with the uh you know likelihood of of getting a first but lamar absolutely throws a dot so making those throws in key moments is what's you know making everything work lamar is going to get that one-on-one with the linebacker he's going to throw an absolute dart into the end zone you're going to see right here now my bar is in the way put it over here they're going to run a little clear out here a little post route Hill is going to pull in behind it right there. He's going to pull that cornerback out. And what that does is create that one-on-one -on -one with Justice Hill. So, again, you know, dropping back, making good throws without play action. Moving on here, we're going to motion Zay across the field. Lamar is going to drop back, and he's going to hit Rashad Bateman with an absolute dart. So just making throws when he needs to, getting it done the way he, you know, you know like this has been – a little bit of everything in this offense but they are driving this offense right now with the run game make no mistake about it not trying to say that's not true but this is good offense by the baltimore ravens good play calling by todd munkin and lamar jackson is out there executing he looks comfortable you can tell that you know going to those check downs it's just making the game easier for him and the ravens need to keep doing what is working what the defense is giving them and just start you know uh, knocking away at them because if they're going to play back in that zone coverage and what's open is underneath if that's leading to a low a dot who gives a crap as long as you're moving the ball you're getting touchdowns and that's what they're doing right now but in those key moments in those long you know third and long second and long when they need to drop back and pass lamar is executing in those moments too and that to me is the key Thank you to BetUS for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed this breakdown, hit that like button for me. Hit subscribe if you're new here. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. As always, be good to yourselves. Be good to each other. Peace out.